Good morning. Today is your daily check-in for Wednesday, July the 1st. Pastor Ruffin here. How are you doing today? Today is July the 1st. I mean, yesterday, if you watched the video, you know that yesterday was January the 30th. That's what I said. It was June the 30th. But today's July the 1st. Let me reassure you, it definitely is. Our scripture passage today comes from Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And it says simply this. You will be my witnesses. Friends, when Jesus ascended into heaven, his work here on earth had only just begun. You know, when I think of witnesses to things, I think of my next door neighbor who bought a new car. And to tell you the truth, it was the kind of car that I want to buy one day. And I went and I said, hey man, what do you think of the car? And he gave me the rundown from top to bottom, from front to rear, the engine, the interior, the form and the fit. I mean, he just described it to me as a witness would. Well, the book of Acts records the story of the early church, but as a companion volume to the Gospel of Luke, Acts tells us the story of what it means to be a follower of Jesus after Jesus ascended into heaven. And it opens with a surprising detail. Uh, Luke tells us this, the former book, that's the Gospel of Luke, tells us only what Jesus began to do and teach. So what happened after Jesus left? Well, the book of Acts shows us that Jesus' followers went on doing and teaching things that Jesus did and taught. Or rather, Jesus went on doing and teaching these teaching things through the work of the disciples. What an amazing outcome. Jesus didn't leave his disciples alone. He continued to use his power, working through them to teach, to forgive, to restore, and to heal. And he did all this through the power of the Holy Spirit, even when his disciples didn't understand what the kingdom of God was all about. And friends, this should keep us humble because God's kingdom isn't something that we can arrange and define into existence. And this should encourage and excite us as well, since it means that Jesus continues to do his work through you and through me even today to be witnesses of his love, his justice, and his mercy and his grace to everyone we come into contact with every single day. So today, I want you to watch for Jesus' continuing work in you, through you, and around you. Let's play to get, pray together. Gracious God, thank you so much for the morning that you've given us. And Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit would work in us and through us and around us. Lord, I pray that we would be part of building your kingdom today. Lord, keep our eyes focused on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.